So basically what we're here to test is who gets wiped out first. We can't put them on different teams this close. Otherwise they'd be shooting at each other right now. Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator 2. The battle simulator that lets you simulate thousands and even millions of entity. Now, we're quite familiar with the zombie hordes. Uh, we know for some reason they can't shoot any ballistic space weaponry, but they're like camping out in this bunker. Anyway, what we're here to see over here past this tree line, past no man's land, and past the other heavily defended trench network is the World War II faction. These are some of the most advanced soldiers, or at least they were up until very recently. But they've got quite a slew of armament here. We have turned these tanks into long range artillery guns. So in our last video, we showed off what would happen if this army right here had to fight off hordes of thousands and thousands and hundreds of thousands and even millions of zombies. But we've tested World War II soldiers against all kinds of different units. And I wanna see the new top unit in Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator 2. When you look at the factions, we go back to old time. Ancient Greece, Rome, animals, which I guess the dawn of time. World War II, medieval, but now we have modern combat. So what we're gonna need is a fresh new map and we're gonna need to see, okay, there's only the modern soldiers. So let's just get 1,000 of them. That's this army right here in the middle. Now what's gonna be attacking them first is 10,000 Roman. 10 to one odds. So let's take a look at these guys. Oh man, they are kitted out. Let's do this. They've got modern looking M4 carbines here. They don't have any optics on it. In fact, when you look at that gun, like that looks not very well designed because you have the forward sight, but you don't have a rear sight to coordinate on. But then again, you're right, guys. Maybe I'm overthinking it. Dudes with body armor, balaclavas, and fully automatic weaponry should have no problem, each of them taking out 10 Roman. Now, what I'm curious about is to see how far their range is. At what point can they start engaging? Because if I was these guys, I mean, depending on ammunition, but if I had unlimited ammo, I would be taking pot shots right now. The Roman army, the wonder of the classical era. But wait a minute. Okay, they've got swords and they've got shields and very cool hats. But unfortunately, I don't think those very cool hats are strong enough to reflect bullets. Reflect, I guess would be a poor choice of words. I mean, deflect, because <laughs> it's not like you're gonna be standing like, hey dude, shoot me in the helmet, and then it bounces off and kills the guy who shoots it, right? I mean, that would be totally accurate. All right, boys. I mean, you should be firing. You don't need to wait to see the lights in their eyes or the whites in their eyes. This isn't like the Revolutionary War. Wait, they're starting. Oh, they're taking up firing positions. Okay, um, so far, even though all that amount of bullets are going down range, they've only killed about 10. Now, that being said, there's still a lot of ground for the Romans to cover. I don't think they're really gonna be able to get too far because they've lost about 300 Roman soldiers so far. And you guessed it, World War II may have just been bumped down to second place for most powerful faction. It's almost like bringing shields and swords to a gunfight is a bad idea. How are you guys doing? Are you having fun yet? No? Yeah. Uh, I wouldn't be either if I were you guys. Now, what's interesting is we have tanks, but we don't have cavalry. Men on horses. Now look at this. As the Roman formation kind of creates like almost like two pincers on either side, as they coalesce and try to get in. I wouldn't be surprised. Let's see, they haven't lost 50% of their numbers yet and they are getting closer. They might close the line and make contact. In fact, it looks like it's going to happen, but I don't know how many modern soldiers are going to die. Honestly, it might actually stop here. It might just look like they got really close. Look at how teasingly close they are right here. I mean, these guys don't even have to reload. They've got 30 round magazines, but as far as they're concerned, they just turn on like unlimited ammo with no reload cheats. Oh wait, we do have contact. So you can see in the upper right, the numbers. Modern faction has 1000 units. Are they gonna lose a single soldier? I mean, that's the challenge right now. It doesn't look like it. The other side hasn't even been touched and this one, they're cutting them down quick. So, 10,000 Romans, not a problem. Let's up the ante. One of the best way to test is, well, zombies. A million of them. Oh my God. I just realized that we were kind of off by an entire decimal point. I was like, oh, we'll do 100 to one, but a million compared to a thousand is a thousand times greater. 
to put that into perspective, for every 1,000 zombies, there is only one modern soldier. They're terrorists. Dude, these guys' body armor is legit. They even got these sidearms now. That definitely looks like a pistol, not like a taser or anything like that. But they never pull them out, which is interesting. Each of these guys had to kill 10 Roman soldiers. Now, each singular soldier has to kill 1,000 zombies. This is the problem with zombie apocalypses is at some point there gets critical mass of zombies and they just well, they're hungry, they have no fear, and they will literally run at bullets. So, I'm fairly certain... Oh my gosh, actually, this is happening very fast. How are zombies more powerful than Roman soldiers? A, they ran faster, and B, I don't know, maybe they didn't take more bullets necessarily, but they definitely had more numbers, and they're faster. That must be it. Yeah, so this modern faction is being... is going to be completely surrounded. Look at this, the double envelopment is happening on both flanks of this defensive rectangle. Maybe not the best formation choice by these guys. But then again, a thousand to one odds, we sort of knew that this was gonna happen. I just didn't anticipate that it would happen this quickly. It's absolutely crazy to think about. Like, would World War II have died as easily? I think what we need to do is have a competition. Who would last longer? World War II or modern? Maybe the modern assault rifles aren't as powerful as World War II shotguns. I mean, who's to say this game is balanced, right? So the modern soldiers are already past the point of losing over 50% of their numbers. This is terrifying. If you're any one of those soldiers, you know you're gonna die. And it's one of those things where you're probably gonna wanna save the last bullet and not for a zombie. Then again, I forgot that we had... Boom, boys! It's a zombie apocalypse! And it's gone. Wait a minute. I think we just blew up all of the soldiers too, yeah. Uh, the standard zombies won. Wait, 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 standard zombie? What other kind of zombies do we got? Rage zombies? You can see where all the action took place, but the nuke just like, oh, look at this, like mountains of dead. But one of the other things that I wanted to test it against was one of the other new units. We have 18th century French soldiers, and I want to have a proper musket line. So we're going to change the shape to something like that. And then 1,001, let's start with 10,000. Now we're going to have them on attack mode. Now, one thing to consider is, yes, these guys have fully automatic weapons, but these guys have guns. And more guns versus less guns, especially if it's 10 to 1, like, these guys might have a chance. And I remember reading one time, oh, wow, all these guys are old. You can tell by, or they have wigs on, I guess, right? That was sort of the thing back then. That's an impressively large and in charge musket line. They're not really holding the formation, but that's okay. But there's so many different like bullet calibers, right? One of the bigger ones in modern warfare is 50 caliber. I remember reading one time, I think it was the Revolutionary War maybe, but like muskets had a, what was I think roughly equivalent to a 55 caliber round. Now look at this, they have incredible range and there's just so many. They're actually creating like a concave shape here. So they're getting like a lot of men to able to fire down range at any one time. Now, modern soldiers have lost about 30 men and it looks like on both the points. So at some point, oh, look at this. I wish it had a little bit more physics, like maybe tabs, but then again, we wouldn't be able to re like ha experience this many enemies on a battlefield. But it, it would be very interesting to see musket balls ripping through these guys and over here, five five six rounds probably with decent penetration going straight through these like cloth rags oh hello there oh actually oh we oui, oui, mon chéri right because they're, they're french uh omelette du flamage i believe would be their war call oh, say it again dexter omelette du fromage but it seems that modern soldiers have lost 25 percent of their soldiers and the French musket line has only lost 4%, maybe? Is that? So clearly, this musket line, which looks pretty impressive. Look at this, man. Yeah, see, that's the thing. That being said, you have to account for certain things that you only get in games like Total War series, where, like, the morale. Like, if you were these French guys and you just saw these guys, like, firing so many bullets downrange after your first salvo, and then you just see all the guys left and right of you getting cut down, I think you'd be pretty terrified. You'd probably want to retreat. Modern soldiers already lost 50%. French 18th century musketmen 
not even 10%. So needless to say, 10 to 1 odds are just not fair if you're a modern soldier. This is not looking good. They got overwhelmed by zombies, granted an exceptionally large number. Now there's only 200 modern soldiers left. I don't, I don't think they're gonna drop the French soldiers to 10% losses. I guess to some extent, maybe these losses are acceptable and morale wouldn't be crushed. I feel like once you start losing like 20, 30%, you're like, okay, we are getting our butts kicked. It's time to bravely, bravely, bravely run away. Sir Robin. Yeah, this is not looking good. There's less than 10 right now. The last soldier. All right, this is the last guy right here as he falls. Look at him. Very graceful, by the way. He's like, oh, no, man. I want to, I just want to eat some sand right now. Nom, nom, nom. And he, you know, he's taking a nap. So the French soldiers won. They didn't even lose a thousand men, which is pretty impressive considering those guys had modern, fully automatic weapons. All right. I think the modern soldiers need reinforcements. They need 1,000 men. World War II American assault troops. We're gonna put them right behind them. Check this out. We're gonna have a little competition. We need to get it somewhat equidistant, right? So that looks about right. We need to have them on attack and we need these guys to be 18th century French soldiers. Cause we need to see who dies first out of this group. Modern soldiers. Well, these are the World War II ones. Okay, the World War II's guys with the Thompsons. Now, Thompson's fired 45 caliber pistol rounds, I believe, and these modern soldiers should be firing 5.56 rifle caliber round. Or I guess, would they be carbine caliber or assault rifle caliber? I'm gonna call it rifle caliber. So basically what we're here to test is who gets wiped out first. We can't put them on different teams this close. Otherwise, they'd be shooting at each other right now. Oh my gosh, are they just going so slow? Are you guys walking? I must have had it on slow motion. That makes a lot of sense. Why are they going so slow? Oh yeah, I manipulated time. All right, looks like modern soldiers were able to start firing earlier. So I think that's gonna have a big impact actually. Their range at which they could engage definitely started earlier. I'm not sure if it, the terrain is playing into it. There's no like perfectly flat map, right? But I guess it could be like, well, whose soldiers are able to do more damage and endure more damage. Because it looks sort of equivalent, but maybe the World War II soldiers have a few more guys up? Look at this. We got two of the eyes of the smiley face. We just need another line down here. Now, looking at this, it does look like the modern soldiers are putting out a lot more bullets downrange, too. Their fire rate is faster, judging by the tracer fires, anyway. Now, are all of these soldiers able to engage? Oh, that's interesting. Some of the ones in the back aren't able to shoot. So what we should see actually is World War II should get decimated quicker. But when you look at their formations, for some odd reason, it looks like it might be tied or even that modern faction is losing more men faster. But then again, it could just be the uniform color having some form of an optical illusion. Yeah, doesn't it look like that way? Actually, Modern Faction has more troops up on this corner, whereas World War II is completely wiped out there. There's a lot of nuance, though, that could be pertaining to this and impacting it. I mean, look at this. There's a huge bulge of troops down here. Now, not all of them can fire, and they do have to maneuver. So that could be part of the reason. But actually, yeah, numbers look sort of similar. I mean, they're both drastically low at this point. Zooming out, actually, yeah, World War II's gonna last maybe slightly. All right, we need to go into slow motion here. One, two, there's about four right there. And here there's definitely more than four. What is going on? Modern faction didn't last as long. I guess there's still time. All right, so there's what? One guy left versus definitely more than one guy, three. <laughs> this is coming down to the wire. All right, he just died and the last World War II soldiers up. So technically speaking, World War II is a little bit stronger. Now, as far as the numbers, they weren't, I mean, these French soldiers are really good. Granted, they had superior numbers. So the new units in Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator 2. A lot more testing to be done. So if you have some battle suggestions, leave them below. Let me know if you guys do want to see more Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator 2 or UEBS 2, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.